So today what I want to talk to you about is exactly how you're going to be able to get results, not just in your music marketing, but in literally anything in your life. I'm Lizzie the Gifted. I myself am a self-producing hip hop artist. That means that I literally make all my own beats, write my own lyrics, mix, master, engineer, all that, all that good stuff. Um, I do all my own marketing as well, and I've been doing music for about 11 years. I have done a plethora of different things. I've been able to grow my Instagram to 10K followers. I've actually built an email list. My YouTube subscribers is on its way to 3K subscribers. Just a lot of different things. I've sold music, I've sold clothes. I've obviously done tons of performances. I've coached a lot of other artists. I've done producing businesses. There's a lot of different things that I've been able to do. And I want to basically share those things with you here for free on this YouTube channel. So if you're interested in hearing more about that stuff and how to actually grow your fan base the right way, subscribe to the channel. And of course, like this video, it helps the algorithm. But today, what I want to talk to you about is probably the best way for you to think about how to actually become successful in your music marketing. And this is going to be able to help you in anything. This came to me as a result of doing what's called the 75 hard program, I don't want to go into exactly what that is because I've gone over it a million freaking times. If you don't know what 75 hard is, go Google it, go YouTube it after this. It's sick. I actually have a video on my channel about it, but you can watch that. Go watch the original one uh, by the person who created it named Andy Frisella. But I've done this thing a bunch of times, but it came to me and it made me realize the way to really get results in anything. And I was able to translate it to music marketing. Do the things that are simple to understand, but difficult to execute. I've got many of those examples of things like that that I have done, but I'll give you an example with weight loss, for example. Then I'll use a music marketing example. Okay, weight loss example, right? How about this for trying to lose weight? Do a diet every single day where there's no cheating, you can't even have a bite of food off your diet, no cheat days, no cheat meals, no alcohol, and do that for 75 days in a row. Do you think you'll lose weight? Probably. Is that simple to understand? Yeah. Is it difficult to execute? Hell yeah. But that will get you results, right? How about if you want to get a better body, you work out twice a day, every day. Don't take days off for 75 days. Do both of those things, you're probably going to get results in your body, right? You know, add into it drinking a gallon of water. Every day for 75 days, you'll probably get results, right? I was kind of basically just summarizing 75 hard, by the way. But the point is, that's simple to understand, but difficult to execute. Music marketing example. Let's take Russ, right? One of the biggest artists out there. What did Russ do? What was his strategy? All right, I'm going to put out a new song every week until I blow up. That was one sentence. That was his entire business plan. It was one sentence. I'm going to put out a song every week until I blow up. Honestly, dude, I, I, I really want to fucking do that. I hella want to put out a song a week. That sounds so fun. It sounds hella hard. But the momentum that you could probably create from that, holy shit. I want to do that. I want to figure out a way to do that. Uh, but the point is, it's simple to understand, difficult to execute. And also what's difficult, <laughs> oh my God, I can't even imagine. Like What's even more difficult is like he said until he blows up, he didn't know when he was going to blow up. He had no idea. He did it every week for three years, three and a half years, and he just exploded. Simple to understand, difficult to execute. Am I saying you have to do that exact thing? No, but simple to understand, difficult to execute. Make it less. Say, hey, I'm gonna do a video. I'm gonna do a. Uh, I'm gonna do a new song every month until I blow up. That might not. It might not give you the results as fast as it did with Russ, but who knows? In today's day and age, if you do a song a month, and with that you link a TikTok video with it every day, you'll probably blow up off that. Russ didn't have TikTok. Russ, I think he had Twitter. He, he had Twitter and Instagram, but no TikTok. And I think he was posed, I think I've heard him talk about how we just do stories of him do like singing the song and doing snippets, but we know that there's no discoverability when it comes to IG stories. Really good discoverability when it comes to TikTok though, right? Song a month, every month. That's plenty that's plenty enough time for you to make, you know, you can make 12 songs a year. You could do that. Okay. If you can't do that, I can help you. But let's say you can do that. 12 songs a year, right? And you'd put them out once a month and every single day, just post one video, just post one video, one video every single day of you lip syncing your own song. 
after you put it out or before you put it out. You could do two weeks of before you put it out or I would even do this. This is what I would do. I'd have the song. Let's say I was going to put out the song. This is how I would do it just for organizational purposes. Again, this is making it a little too complicated, but this is just to make it a little easier. I put out the song in the, in the second week of the month. The whole first week of the month for every day, I'm going to preview the song. So I would do selfie videos here on the speakers of like, yo, check out the new song coming out this week or coming out, blah, blah, blah. Then once the song drops, what you can do is, I know you can like make sounds on TikTok or you can like take the song from TikTok and have it like ingrained into the video. I sound like a fucking dinosaur right now, but you get what I mean, like where you use the sound. That makes it higher audio quality. I would do that for three weeks where it's like, I'm literally going to put out a video every single day. I'm just lip syncing the song. Once you realize how fucking easy that is, you're probably going to be like, I, I could probably do two videos a day. That's like easy, right? Then eventually you're probably going to be like, I could probably do three videos. It's like filming a story. It's just like an IG story. You just like film yourself lip syncing your song, walking around, doing some shit, post that shit, post a little B roll here and there too. Like, you make yourself, basically what's dope as fuck about TikTok, and it's making me want to fucking do some shit right now, but what's super dope about TikTok is you're, you're, you're essentially making little mini music videos and you're filming it yourself on your phone and it's low quality and it's low budget and it doesn't matter because you could pop just off the sheer volume. So I just came up with a strategy. Like I, I did make it a tad, I, I, I added a little tad bit complications to it. So for, fuck all like when you release it, it could be last day, first day, who, who gives a shit? Just like, all right, I'm putting out a song a month and every single day I'm going to post a video on TikTok about that song. That's easy. You could do that. That's simple. That means you post every day on TikTok, take the extra few seconds, save that to your camera roll, upload that to IG Reels. Now you got it on both and you're marketing your own song all the time. Pretty simple, right? Simple to understand, but that's going to be difficult to execute because you're going to actually have to get on and do it. So it can be hard. But when you do the things that are simple, and like, look at how easy it was for me to just think of a strategy. I just thought of a strategy on how to release music. In addition, if you have a music video with that song, you can chop up snippets and upload those as on TikTok and Instagram Reels too. Here's the other thing. Like for me, okay. This is exactly what I'm doing right this second. So for a while, I didn't run any paid ads. So I've been doing paid ads for since 2018, but very I call it on and off. So like I run paid ads for a month or two and then I turn them all off to try to save money. Stupidest thing I ever did. But then I but then I realized probably toward the end of last year, probably quarter 4 of 2021, I was like, "You know what, man? I just it just hit me. I was like, "You know what?" If I was running ads every day and I was just stomaching the expense, I'd probably be able to grow. That was just like my thought. I was like, dude, if I was just running at least $10 a day every day and just didn't stop until I blew up, I'll probably blow up. Like it just came to me. And since September of 2021, I have not missed it. I've been running ads every single day for at least $5 a day. Most of my days have been 10, but at least five, I'll just say at least 10. If you look back at it, you're going to see it's, it's been at least $10 a day, $300 a month since September, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, we're in June. So June, 10 months. So it's been every single day. Yeah, it's been every single day, $10 a day for 10 months. And my video views have gone way up. My warm audience has gone way up. But the amount of people who have watched 100% of my music videos is super, it's huge. It's like somewhere around 10,000. What? Let me think about that. Hold on. I was going to say a number, but I should pull it up on the computer, but it's a large, I think it's safe to say it's between 8,000 and 10,000 people have watched 100. Those are just people who've watched 100% of my music videos. That's not including 95%, 75%, 50%, 25%, and even people who've only watched 15% or 15 seconds. The amount of people, and I know this because I just looked it up, the amount of people 
who have watched 15 seconds of two of my videos, doing the most and watch me, these are two of my videos, the amount of people who have watched at least 15 seconds of both of those videos combined is 54,000 people. In fact, I looked that up two weeks ago. If I looked it up today, it's probably already at 60,000, but that's a lot of people who have watched at least 15 seconds. Why? Simple to understand. Just I was like, you know what? Run ads every day, don't stop. And run them every single day until you blow up. You will blow up. Now I'm at the point where I have a pretty large audience and now my new thing is, okay, I was very much like fuck Spotify for a while. Now I'm like, nah, Spotify is important. I should run that, I should have those. That social proof, it'll help build my following. I think it's gonna do some good shit for me. Run ads to your Spotify profile every single day until that blows up. Don't stop running ads. Like just run ads to it, have your video views, but like dude, put five bucks a day towards Spotify. It'll be fucking worth it in a year from now. When you run ads every day for five bucks, 10 bucks a day to Spotify, you're gonna see your shit grow and you're gonna be like, holy fuck, I did it. I grew my Spotify super large. It was worth it. Simple to understand, difficult to execute. That is some shit right there that will really be able to help you out. And I already just dropped two different strategies for you that could help. You could run, have a good, easy paid ad strategy and a nice organic strategy I just mentioned. If you combine them and you're like, as I'm like putting out these videos, all these TikTok videos, if I legitimately run ads to those videos also, and I say, I'm, I'm going to run $5 a day paid ads, plus post every day, plus the new song a month, I'm gonna blow up. I'm just gonna do that until I blow. Pretty confident you're gonna fucking get that shit done. So, with that, do that shit. Hey, listen, if you need dedicated help where you're like, yo, Lee, I fuck with what you're talking about, man. Can I like talk with you personally because I have like a special case or special things going on? Or maybe you're thinking, all right, Lee, I'm into the whole paid ads thing, but I don't know how to run paid ads. Don't trip. I, I know how to run paid ads pretty fucking well. Um, click below, book a free call with me. Fucking talk to me for free, bro. I'm at the point right now where I can take a lot of free calls. I don't have hell of people hitting me up yet because my audience is not giant. I can talk to all of you. Hit me up. Book a call with me below and actually hit me up. You're probably gonna get something really good out of it, all right? Obviously, don't forget if you're into this kind of content, subscribe to the channel, like this video. If you wanna check out my music too, it's gonna be down there in the description as well, all right? Thank you so much for watching another episode. This is Music Marketing Mastery, and I, I love putting out these videos. I love talking to you about music marketing stuff. It's super exciting to me. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.